Jess I want to come into you live and direct and today we have a fragrance review let's get right into it so the fragrance I'm reviewing today is aqua sextius from the house of Julie Mad. now I was putting together my um, top 10 summer fragrance list and um, it came to my attention that I actually haven't reviewed the scent I think I got it about a summer ago or two summers ago and you know it's about time and I also got a reminder from one of you to review this so that's very necessary so we had to do this so with that being said let's take a look at the presentation so for the presentation this comes in a white box kind of pulls up this way it's um I believe, yeah 50 ml eau de parfum concentration now the box um the bottle very very gorgeous i really like it it's kind of two-toned it has like clear on the front and like towards the back like halfway through you can see that it's like kind of frosted on the back really neat very simple presentation see-through jeweler mat at the front aqua sexes very very simple so with that being said let's get into the notes actually before we get into the notes i should mention um this i believe it only comes the largest size is 50 ml but there's also a um, there's also an option that comes with a coffer and like a travel spray but um that's for significantly more expensive than just this with the um, they're just the bottle and the box, so that's the one I opted for. So for the notes at the top, we have a gang of citruses. I mean, we have mandarin, orange, bergamot, grapefruit, mimosa. Um, yeah, the notes that stand out at the top to my notes are the grapefruit and the mimosa note. And at the mid, we have um, we have some um, marine notes, sea notes, aquatics, whatever you want to call it. Um, some white florals, some pine needles, and at the base there are a bunch of notes there too. I believe there's some amber, there's some cedar, there's some musk, but musk stands out to me at the base. So when you first spray aqua sextius, I mean on initial blast, you get like, it's a very complex scent to be honest, very very well blended to my nose. On initial blast I just get this, um, I get this, um, the, obviously there's a grapefruit there, there's, um, there's a gang of citruses at the top bunch of citrus notes but what stands out to me is the grapefruit and there is this um, almost minty menthol like um, scent in there I'm not sure if it's eucalyptus I'm not sure if it's mint but there's there's this like sharpness there done really really well it's not herbaceous or medicinal but on um, initial blast I just get the grapefruit and um, there's a bit of sweetness too and I get this somewhat sharpness it's it's brilliant I think it's eucalyptus I'm not quite sure um, but yes eucalyptus isn't a uh, isn't a listed note maybe my nose is playing tricks on me but on the initial blast it's very very gorgeous you just get this um you get this grapefruit you get some eucalyptus and I believe the mimosa flower there's a certain like a um, softness or subtle touch that comes with it also as time goes on actually maybe like 15 20 minutes into it like the aquatic notes just start showing up and like the first about four hours or so you just get this um amazing complex scent with the grapefruit and then you have the aquatic elements in there and there's also like a slight um soft touch from the mimosa note there very 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 gorgeous scent well blended i really really enjoy this um projects quite well i mean it's not a loud like it's not a loud summer scent well projects decently i mean it's not it's a summer scent it's an aquatic shouldn't expect a lot from it but projects really well and it lasts it lasts well on my skin too first three four hours projects really well then you know that's pretty moderate there so i mean as far as performance goes i have no complaints it does really well but the scent the scent is quite complex and i enjoy it i really really enjoy how it was developed speaking to me like i've never been a fan of like aquatics as far as um summer scents go i've always leaned towards the citruses but this right here is really amazing um definitely in my top three to top five summer scents for sure really amazing scent this one right here and um curacao bay are the two aquatics that i really enjoy outside of that i've never really been an aquatics guy to be honest like i said Zerge of Neo and um, Bergamot 22 and what's the name of the scent from um, my man Gallagher. There's one from Gallagher fragrances that's skipped my um, skipped my mind, but it has a great orange blossom note. It's on my to buy list, so that's a great scent too. But um, yeah, as far as that goes, um, Aqua Sex is really really impressive. Now this scent right here, um, I think it's quite complex for like what it does. For an aquatic, it's very complex. Um, as far as the setting, I would wear it in a laid back setting. I mean, to be quite honest, it'll be, it'll be very versatile in the warm weather. Summer weddings where I got on a linen suit. I mean, a summer wedding, 
I'll go in a linen suit, laid back. Linen is the material, very laid back. I'll throw that on because of the sharpness I get from the, um, the um, I guess the menthol and mint or like the mintiness, the eucalyptus. You get, you know what I'm saying. The sharpness I get in there, I would wear that. And um, also in the laid back setting, man, crisp cotton um, white button down shirt, you know, short sleeve, just laying back with my shades on, chilling on the beach. I'll throw that on too. So I mean, any summer setting, this should do fine. Now, compliment factor. I'll keep it a buck with you guys. I stopped caring about compliments a while ago. I know that's what got me into the fragrance game and exploring the scents, but after a certain age, or after a certain while, after you develop your character as a man, you got way more things to offer and way more things to say that compliments. I mean, they're cool, they're nice to get, but compliment factor of a fragrance doesn't really, um, isn't a driving factor, but Will it get you compliments? I haven't paid attention when I'm wearing this, to be honest, but it's a pleasant scent. I enjoy it. I've been complimented a couple of times, actually, but I haven't kept track of things like that. But I mean, I just went on a whole rant about compliments and the whole thing that goes there. But initially, that's what got me in the door. And there's nothing wrong with chasing compliments, but I've gotten to a point in my life where I just, I, there are the cool things about me, so <laughs> compliments really don't matter. But, um, it's a great scent. sample before you buy. Anyways, if I told you this was a compliment magnet and it would get you all the attention in the world and you bought it and you were disappointed, I'll still think um, I'm not to be blamed. So always sample before you um, before you purchase. For ratings, I would rate this around, um, I'll probably give it an eight out of 10. Uh, where I take away points is the pricing, to be honest. Um, Pricing of it, it's a bit of it's a bit on the expensive side for what it does. Um, I'm sure you could find some aquatics that you would enjoy or some fresh scents for the summertime that you could get at the 120 to 100 dollar range that you would enjoy. But this right here, um, I believe, is priced at 175 US dollars for 50 ml, and I think the 20 is like 20 ml is like 90 US dollars. I think they have very limited distribution too because I tried finding the price other places and I think I looked on like indigoperfumery.com and I think I found them for like 175 US. I believe I paid 150 US for mine and I got it through like a third party too and that was like a year ago or so. so um, as far as the pricing, the pricing is the only um, downside to this and it's not widely distributed to my knowledge so it's it's hard to come by or hard to find for cheaper but try and sample i'm sure you can find like a sample vial on lucky scent or maybe like a facebook group somewhere or somebody's gonna decant you some but yeah try and sample this for sure it's a great summer scent you will enjoy it outside of the price to be honest it's a great scent i enjoy it so um yes aqua sextius amazing amazing summer scent really sample it and if you've tried it let me know in the comments below i'm really curious to see what you guys think about it and also is there like is there almost like a minty like a menthol feel to it a very it's very well done it's not it's not anything like discouraging about it does anybody like smell that in there like maybe there's like an, an unlisted eucalyptus note or my nose is playing tricks on me let me know in the comments below because I'm, I'm quite curious maybe my nose is playing tricks on me who knows but yes my name is Jesse Abwaji once again. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. I forgot how much I enjoy communicating with you guys and, you know, serving you, being here for you. So with that being said, let me know if there's anything else you'd like, me to, see, um, you'd like to see me review, any video suggestions. I'm open to that. Until then, show me love. Until next time. It's been a while. I'm getting good at this again.